Also an update on donations. More than 53,000 individual donations and $3.7 million. Yeah, it's a lot of money to help. And we're also learning so much more about the people who lost their lives and those who worked to save others. Watch. He just moved to Denver, a Navy veteran who served in Afghanistan in Vegas to celebrate his upcoming 29th birthday. Christopher Robles' girlfriend shares their last conversation as he was about to head to that fateful concert. We just said hi and miss you, and he had even expressed he was done with Vegas. He was ready to come home, and he had joked that he was going to change his flight to head home early. But Robel never made it home. Neither did Coach Chuck. That's what his players call him. Youth football coach and Las Vegas police officer Charleston Hartfield was off duty, just enjoying the music when he was shot and killed. It's hard. I couldn't believe it when I heard that he was gone. <laughs> My heart dropped. He leaves behind a wife and three children. <laughs> And more stories of people helping people emerging too. What you're looking at here, one woman and her fiance using their truck to get the people severely hurt to the hospital. We're going over roadblocks, we were going over curbs. But sadly, not all the people in their truck made it. I said help, I was like, you're gonna be okay. We took them, we put them on the gurney, they went and put them in literally 30 seconds. They're all, we need him out, get that other girl in. I'm like, what? I was like, he's just alive, they're like, he's gone. We put him down, picked up a girl, put her in, another guy that had gunshot wounds in his chest. His fingers were literally holding in from the blood coming out. And then, uh, yeah, they're like, just put that kid down. And I was like, you can't leave him here. So we threw him in the back of the truck. Retired police officer Philip Riddle was on his way home from the airport in the moments right after the shooting. I see people limping across the street, people carrying people across the street. Just one seat in his small car to spare, that's it, and he put it to use. Dash camera video shows a man being loaded in from a wheelbarrow, shot twice. My the intent was to make sure that this guy was conscious and that he could maintain a conversation back and forth. Riddle says he got that man to the hospital, didn't get his name, and sure hopes he survived. The story really hitting closest to home here in Florida. Uh, the UF law student in Gainesville shot near her ribs, uh, still recovering in a hospital in Vegas. At last check, she's in the hospital and stable.